So everyone, this is how to get Siri to connect with ChatGPT on your phone. You're going to download the OpenAI app, and you're going to log in, either through Google or Apple or your email address. Um, OpenAI is 49% Microsoft and 51% OpenAI. Uh, then you need to get the Let's Chat shortcut, which it turned out to be a very different uh app than I thought it was. It's a shortcut that you need to get on your Twitter. Get on Twitter. So this guy named McKinley Wrigley, or McKay Wrigley, Siri, has a shortcut, an iCloud shortcut that you download onto your phone. And it is called Let's so, Chat. And what it's going to do, it's going to connect your Siri with the chat GPT large language AI model. So Siri reads back the text from chat GPT. So when you ask chat GPT a question, when you ask Siri a question, it will be a very in-depth answer that you can chat back to and ask deeper questions. So here's the prompt script for it. It's in your shortcuts. You can edit it. You can have it do different things. I just left it the way it is, and the prompt is, hey Siri, let's chat. And Siri will then ask you, or should ask you, new chat or continue chat to reference your previous conversations with ChatGPT. So let's see what's going on here. Logging in. I, I just cut the screen and uh, logged in with my information. I didn't want to give too much away here, but the, yes. So here I am talking, asking, um, you know, a, okay, asking about bearded dragons. So yeah, you get the idea. I'd say it should work for you. I hope it works for you and uh, good luck. If you can't get it to work, some things you need to make sure you have the official OpenAI app. You're logged in on your phone. You want to make sure you have that shortcut from McKinley or McKay Wrigley uh, downloaded on your phone. And as far as I can think, that is that is about it that, that you might need. And just make sure you're saying, hey, Siri, let's chat, um, because that's the prompt. So, hey Siri, let's chat, new chat or old chat. Um, but you need to make sure you're logged in and you, that you give it access. You give the shortcut access to access the API. That's it.